The day has finally arrived. Following months of rumors and speculation, OpenAI has officially announced GPT-4, an advanced tool for analyzing images and mimicking human speech that pushes the technical and ethical boundaries of a rapidly expanding wave of AI. ChatGPT, OpenAI's previous product, captivated and unnerved the public with its uncanny ability to generate elegant writing, unleashing a viral wave of college essays, screenplays, and conversations. Despite the fact that it could only generate text and relied on technology that is relatively on the older side. GPT-4, on the other hand, is more creative and collaborative than ever before and can solve difficult problems with greater accuracy. According to OpenAI developers, GPT-4 is more likely than ChatGPT to provide factual responses and less likely to refuse harmless requests. And the image analysis feature, which is only available in research preview form for a limited number of testers, would allow someone to show a picture of the food in their kitchen and request meal suggestions. With that said, OpenAI warns that the systems retain many of the same flaws as earlier language models, such as the ability to make up information or hallucinate and generate violent and harmful text. OpenAI has already partnered with a number of companies, including Duolingo, Stripe, and Khan Academy to integrate GPT-4 into their products. The new model is available to the general public via ChatGPT+, OpenAI's $20 monthly ChatGPT subscription, and also powers Microsoft's Bing chatbot. It will also be available as an API for developers to use. In a blog post, OpenAI stated that the difference between GPT-4 and its predecessor, GPT-3.5, is subtle in casual conversation. CEO Sam Altman tweeted that GPT-4 is still flawed, still limited, but that it also still seems more impressive on first use than it does after you spend more time with it. GPT-4's advancements are visible in the system's performance on a variety of tests and benchmarks, including the Uniform Bar Exam, LSAT, SAT math and SAT evidence-based reading and writing exams. GPT-4 scored in the 88th percentile or higher on the mentioned exams. GPT-4 and its capabilities have been the subject of much speculation over the last year, with many predicting a significant improvement over previous systems. However, based on OpenAI's announcement, the improvement will be more iterative, as the company had previously warned. People are begging to be disappointed, and they will be said Altman in an interview in January. The rumor mill was further fueled last week when a Microsoft executive revealed in an interview with the German press that the system would launch this week. The executive also suggested that the system would be multimodal, capable of producing not only text, but also other mediums. Many AI researchers believe that multimodal systems that combine text, audio, and video are the best way to develop more capable AI systems. GPT-4 is indeed multimodal, but in fewer mediums than some predicted. As stated earlier in the video, the system can accept text and image inputs, and the tool will output text. Because the model can parse text and images simultaneously, it can interpret more complex inputs. OpenAI emphasized in its announcement of GPT-4 that the system had undergone six months of safety training and that in internal tests, it was 82% less likely to respond to requests for disallowed content and 40% more likely to produce factual responses than GPT-3.5. However, this does not preclude the system from making mistakes or producing harmful content. For example, with Microsoft's revelation that its Bing chatbot has always been powered by GPT-4, many users were able to circumvent Bing's safeguards in a variety of creative ways, causing the bot to offer dangerous advice threaten users, and make up information. GPT-4 also lacks knowledge of events that occurred after the vast majority of its data cutoff in September 2021, and does not learn from its experience, making it difficult to teach it new things. Let me know in the comments if you've used GPT-4 and what your experience has been so far.